Hi, it's Wayne O'Keefe. And last night I was out celebrating with friends and it was a pretty late night and there was much celebrating being done. And in the course of the evening, after much celebrating, we got talking about fishing and one of my mates who has only ever been fishing twice in his life and never caught a thing challenged me to, to catch a fish in an hour, which I didn't think was too difficult a task. And because I seemed to be smirking when he when I said that, um, well, he then changed a little bit and he said it had to be a freshwater fish and it had to be within half an hour of my house and I had to catch it in an hour. So that started to worry me a little bit, but because I'd been so well and truly celebrated, I accepted the challenge. And so that was last night. Now in the cold, hard light of day, I'm just wishing maybe I didn't actually accept that challenge, but what the hell, let's try Anyway, it's, um, it's fairly early morning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a lake that has trout in it. It also has redfin and a couple of other species. But what I've got to do is that most of the species, except for the trout, are going to be quiet because it's midwinter. So uh, they, won't be, they won't be searching for food too much, but the trout will. So I'm going to have to use two trout setups. So one of them will be a standard, a standard uh, worm bait with a burly cage uh, setup. So I'll have... A, um, a quiver tip rod with that and if you've seen my previous uh, videos about trout fishing you would have seen that I've caught them that way. The other one I'm going to have is a it's going to be a specific doe bait rig so it's it's rigged um, with a a little bit of an unusual uh, unusual burly cage. I normally just use when I'm using the doe baits I normally just use a sinker and use the doe bait like a, a Berkeley doe bait because what that will do is uh, it gives off enough scent anyway to catch a fish but I don't have too much time to actually try and catch one of these things so what I'll do is I'll use this little burly cage here which is in line uh, it, I'll mold the burly around that so you get a, a piece of um, burly around about the size of a golf ball around that what it will do is as soon as it hits the water, it will most of that stuff will explode off and sit out in the water. So I really want to throw out as much as I can. If I was fishing in a river or something like that, I'd never use something like this because everything would just flood away immediately. But uh, this is an English style, what they call method feeder, and uh, over there they'd use a, a much stickier uh, burley, which when they wrap it around that stays hard, and most of that will stay on until it actually hits bottom. Uh, thereafter, I'm going to use a a hook length of about uh, say 20 22 centimeters uh, maybe maybe even 30 centimeters actually uh, and I'll trim that off if I need to make it shorter or even make it longer if I'm not catching anything and what I'll do is I'll have the the dough bait on that um, and it's a treble hook that I'm using a very small treble hook it's they look to be about size 12 on this those those hooks and with those hooks uh, I like treble hooks when I'm using the the dough bait because you can mold it round it into a bubble or a teardrop shape that the fish seem to like. Um, and the, you know, you've got a couple more chances of hooking that fish than just the one. And once they actually get hooked with a treble, a treble hook, they really seem to stay hooked on it. So that's what I'll be trying on one line, and the other line would just be a burly cage with a worm on it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see how we go. And my other, my other struggle is I can't really fish for that much longer anyway. I've got to be home. Early, in, it, relatively early in the day, because I've got to uh, there's other things to be done before lunchtime. So uh, my challenge is going to be really, really time, and that will be my enemy. Let's see how we go. first catch a little red fin what I'd done is I'd cast in and I hadn't got any action for you know for about five six minutes I just twitched the bait took it straight away so that's a something you can do just a couple of winds of your reel and uh, you might get a fish that's just waiting there but not striking because it's waiting for the, the bait to move
finally.